Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sam. In today's video, we are taking a look at yet another new feature in iOS 7.1 this time we are taking a look at Apple CarPlay. Now you maybe have heard just a little bit about CarPlay, but you probably don't know exactly what it is or how it affects you. So I'm gonna try to explain those two things in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. To break CarPlay down in a nutshell, it is basically Apple bringing the experience of the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch all the way into your vehicle, yes. With CarPlay, Apple's goal is to integrate the great experience from your iPhone right into the heads-up display on your car. So for example, I'll show you guys some official pictures from Apple on screen. CarPlay is just going to be integrated, like I said before, into your car's screen. It looks just like an iPhone right on your screen, and I think it looks really cool. However, there are going to be restrictions on when this is available. So the first thing you need to understand is that you cannot get this on a car that you probably already own. There's been some talk of some aftermarket stuff where you could possibly integrate it a couple years down the road, but for now... Apple is only making this available in brand new cars, so unless you're ready to buy a new car and you've got twenty to thirty to forty or fifty thousand dollars to spend, you probably aren't gonna be able to get CarPlay for a while. So I apologize that I can't show you guys CarPlay in action. If you go ahead and go on YouTube, you can probably see some other YouTubers have actually gotten some hands-on with this. But for now, I apologize I can't show you guys anything. But CarPlay is cool because it's so integrated, just like Apple's iOS is integrated into the Mac and the Mac into the iOS. It really feels cool. I mean, it just looks like an awesome experience that you couldn't really get with any other Android phone or some Android integrated system in any other vehicle. Now taking a look at what apps CarPlay will support straight out of the box, first is of course the Maps application, that is so you can actually know where you're going with CarPlay. Next up is Phone, following that is Messages, and then finally Music. Those will be the four default apps installed with CarPlay, however, there are also some third-party apps that Apple will allow to be put into CarPlay. The first is Podcast, then we have Beats Music, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Stitcher, and if you noticed, I did not say Pandora. That is because, very oddly, the number one streaming music service in the world will not be included in CarPlay right off the bat. Now, I don't know if Apple's plans are to add this in a software update sometime in the future, but for now, I think it is very, very odd that Apple is just leaving CarPlay, or I should say Pandora, not even included in the package. So the last question you're probably asking yourself is what is going to be the CarPlay lineup or what brands are going to be implementing CarPlay into their cars? The answer is Ferrari, Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, and Volvo have already signed an agreement with Apple that say they will implement CarPlay in some of their vehicles in 2014. However, if you didn't hear their car that you have right now or just the car brand that you like, these have already committed. However, they are not implemented in their cars just yet. That is the BMW Group, Chevrolet, Ford, Jaguar, Kia, Land Rover, Mitsubishi Motors, Nissan, Opel, PSA, Pugiat, Citroen, Subaru, Suzuki, and then Toyota. Now at this point in time, CarPlay will only be compatible with certain iPhone models. These are the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, and iPhone 5. So unfortunately, all you guys out there with the iPhone 4 or 4S, CarPlay will not work with your device, which I really think is quite stupid on Apple's part. Why wouldn't they implement it for those devices? I have no idea, and I feel like they're really going to miss out on quite a big market of people who actually have those slightly older devices than the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and iPhone 5C. So guys, this was my overview on Apple's CarPlay. It's coming out this year in 2014, and at the time of creating this video, I do believe a very, very select few of cars already have CarPlay implemented in them. However, don't guarantee me on that. I am not 100% sure. So once again, if you guys did enjoy watching the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you took that one second to click the like button down below. If you want to see more stuff related to Apple and technology, and specifically iOS 7.1, feel free to subscribe to my channel, iUpdateOS, because I do cover all that good stuff here. So once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you did learn something new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.